All right, everybody, how you doing? Got another video for you today. Pretty important one, too, and a heavily requested one. Uh, but I just want to show you three ways you're damaging your hinge and just uh, how to prevent it and the, you, with the things you can do. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the bell. Do all the things in the bottom there. Just go do them. So now let's get right into the thick of it. So the first thing, obviously, this is a no-brainer. The first thing you're doing to destroy your hinge is you are doing tricks on it or using it improperly. Uh, maybe you're sh shutting it sideways, putting pressure on it, and you don't even realize you're doing that. It happens all the time. I've showed in other videos how it does happen. So you can just right away stop doing tricks on your nice Zippos, your sentimental Zippos, your collectible Zippos. Uh, get yourself a nice beater Zippo like I got here uh, and just do whatever you want with it, right? Don't do them to all your others. Make sure you get yourself a cheap Walmart, Walmart one for the beater. But so now let's go into the next thing that's uh, damaging your hinge. So over the years, as you use a hinge, you're going to get dirt and grime all in here. And uh, there's a little bit of oil on here from the Zippo factory also, right? So it eventually goes dry in there and gets crusty. So uh, dirt in the hinge, why, why does that make it break? Uh, what causes the damage? So what's happening is you get buildup around the pin. All right, and these are the uh, pin rings that hold the pin, the, these outer rings here, okay? So when the pin gets grimy and dirty and it gets sandy, uh, fine dust in there and it starts to accumulate, it makes the pin wider. So when the pin gets wider, what happens is every time you open it, you're stretching the rings, right? Because it, it's wider than the rings now, so it's got to stretch them out a bit. And then over the years, you will see that the hinge is really floppy. And it still works good and everything, and you're like, and you've never done tricks on it, and you never nothing. Just over the years, the amount of buildup in the on the pin over the years is what actually does expand the hinge also. And so how do you get around this? Uh, so you could get some WD-40 and clean your clean your hinge but i wouldn't do it if it was like a black mat or 540 or some sort of finish uh, like maybe i don't know if wd-40 cleans off rose gold i have no idea i've never tried it so i can't recommend it but if it was solid brass or chrome or something like that you could definitely use the wd-40 on it just to like because it's got a spray on there and then you could you can blow it out but what i like to do is i get a little bit of uh my best friend here mineral oil use this for everything and what I'll do is I'll just put the tiniest little dab. Sorry, I have to see here. I'll put the tiniest little dab on there. There we go. You don't need much. And then I'll I'll work it into I'll work it into all these crevices here. I'll just force it in there. And I'll I'll clean up all around here. And just force it in the cracks. And look at all the dirt that's coming off. And then, uh, so once it's forced in there, you take the dry side and you start cleaning. Cleaning up where you went. And then you want to work it lots. Like, I can just feel how loose my hinge is now. Like, uh, how freely it moves. So, when your hinge can, has the availability to move freely like that, uh, what you're doing is you're taking the tension off all the ring, uh, the, hin the pin rings there on the outside. You're taking all the tension off that. So when you take all the tension off it and then now your hinge can move freely, you're not putting any pressure on them and you're not putting any pressure on the pins and it's moving, it's moving nice now. So now for the third thing, I want to show you the most simplest thing you can do. Anybody can do this at home. I'm, this is going to be the best version of this I ever do for you guys because this is what I'm always doing. So on the bottom you have one two these are attached to the bottom case there if you can see that they're attached to the bottom case one and two so they have to be bent that way and tightened right what you're trying to do is you're trying to form the ring tighter around the pin again you're not trying to squeeze these flat you will ruin your hinge you'll get lid gap here that is not how you tighten them you're just trying to move them forward and tighten them like that but can you see how i'm doing that you just move them forward and tighten like that now i'm not actually doing it i'm just showing you the motion you just got to squeeze and go forward. And then on the lid, you can see you have three. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the thing, not the camera. One, two, three that attach onto the same pin. So these ones need to go 
that way, right? The middle and the two ends, they need to go that way. So I like to start off with the lid actually first to tighten the lid down onto the pin because it's that's what's always the loosest. So like I said, you just follow, make sure you're doing it the right way. And all you need to do is just give this a light squeeze. You want to hold the lid because you don't want to try and you don't want to bend the lid in the process. And you just give these a light squeeze, turn them forward. That's all you got to do. Oh, sorry, jerk the phone there. Okay, so I can already feel it's getting tighter now. Now it's just the bottom ones to seal the deal. Ooh. Slipped off there. There we go. That one's good. There we go. And that one's good for good measures. Okay, now that lid has way less play. So you got to do these in micro adjustments. You're not trying to do it all at once. You got to go back now and retighten the lid one more time now because you're getting it, you're getting the lid. You're getting the pin all tight now, so you have to go back and retighten them because they won't be as tight as the first time you did. See? And then you do the bottom two one more time. Oh, and all I did was squeeze it instead of... There we go. I'm just forming them around the pin again because this is the way they turn. There we go. There we go. Now, the lid's much tighter on there. I've got a, do I got an insert handy? I can't remember what insert I took out of this one. I was making videos earlier, so I don't know. But there's one. There we go. It closes straight. It's not cockeyed. I'm using a Zippo insert, so it will push to whatever side it is. But yeah, and it's much it's much tighter now. It's not as loose. I'm gonna get a lot of good years out of it. It's oiled up. I won't have to do that for another year or so. I recommend doing this to your Zippo once a year it's very quick easy maintenance just a little bit of oil a little bit of tightening but when you do it at home make sure you do the tightening first and then, then the oiling after because then your your thing will slip off like i know what i'm doing so i can do it but maybe at home yours won't and yours will slip off now there is a little play on here as you can see like it's not completely tight but it's not as wobbly it's not as wobbly as as it was before so uh, and that's what you're looking for. And I know a lot of you have armors and you've been using them for years and the hinge is there. It's probably even way looser than it was when you first got it. That's what you're going to need to do to it just to bring it up to par and comfortable again. So I hope you guys found the video useful. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Let me know if this is something regular you do in the comments. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.